never been better. Sure don't look it. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What curled up your ass? Okay, we can talk. How much do you want for it? Okay. I want it today. Great. Change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend.
payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation. Tower crumbles. Chaos. Screaming. Roll credits. Shido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a delta! The Demolitra. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! There, Run Joy. for it! Shoot the cables! Get the rotor spinning! We're on our way! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Luke. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Take that position! Close the bank! in on the access point. Slide in. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take we a look. We turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Imbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick.
RP. Door's sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Try once more. You associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Hey, Gramps. I know you. Azusi. died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yona Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you wreak.人は嘘つき自分自身を欺くだが死者は違う死者は雄弁だが彼らは決して嘘をつかない死者の言葉には慎ましさがある始めろ And you, who are you?
Heavier than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this <laughs> Medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You. You were at Compaggy Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc quickly. Did well. Do not waste time. <clears throat> Victor. Who fix us up? We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. Why? Why not just cut me loose? I'm dead weight to you. Make the call. 
Scanner indicates you are outside the surface area. Just come. Pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica. In front of Bex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit that vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get her inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Grab them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I... I hated it. Hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. 
had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Talk to me. You've given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right, Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't omit a thing. Not one D. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. die and then get up like nothing happened used to be true now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them what about me my psyche i make it back from the other side and what i'm supposed to pretend change is normal ask the arasaka engineers who built the thing all i know is your mind's gonna go it won't be pretty from the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body! It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Can we just take the chip out or... Switch it off. Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Fuck. I remember this thing saw it on TV. Oh, what was this stupid slogan? Soul something. Secure your soul. That's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. 
With him? In my sleep? Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? How did you stick a gun in my mouth? Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? Missy, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Where did you even come from? How are we even talking? 
How the fuck should I know? The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Start talking. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. You never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Gonna kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for?
Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your oh, way. Oh, what? Nice so day. I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up, playing the attention hole. He lost a friend. Prepare Can you blame him? Condition. He's and not the first or the last. Again. It's called life. What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Did you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. I'll see what I can do. Hey, Barry? Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as yes. <sighs> Try again later.
Hey, me. Haven't seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. Just trouble. Usual stuff. Ah, ah. In need of iron and lead, then, I take it? Sure. Let me see what you got. Talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tack exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? Listen, you. Me and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to MaxTac. The day they give us the gear they're packing, go right ahead, be the hero, save the fucking day. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to me. That understood?
Get away. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. There's Why no you time figure to she waste me. I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? B? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. There's no time to waste, B. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are ah, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Hanako-sama, oai tekite koe desu. 
こちらこそ Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you Fucking Saka scums everywhere Hey, I was listening to that Shut up Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt What did you say? You heard me Let me go, Takamura At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. B? With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. With a bit of luck. I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help me. Honor among thieves? Yes, I thought. You're an ob. The Parker woman will not. Why are you? I. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. 
Oh, Sokka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.